Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Hope you're having a good day. I can tell you that uh, mine's been interesting. <laughs> um, we uh, we have a little story to tell this morning while it's loading. The flat screen that we have in the bedroom um, was wrecked by the cats this morning. Which means I wasn't actually too angry when the flat screen broke and the cats did what they did because cats are cats. You know, they... He jumped from the windowsill, he jumped onto what I think was the, one of the cable boxes, um, realized he couldn't stand there, was going to fall, grabbed hold of whatever it could and pulled the TV down off of the, the counter. Now the, the TV is one of these ones that we got free for a sign up for two years with our cable company. Um, so it was an LG, it was a nice TV, but it was like paper thin, really flimsy and the stand was horrible, it was like three little prongs. It was almost like it was made to fall over. Um, so, <laughs> so it fell over, the corner hit the ground, the screen was completely shattered, um, and just completely ruined. The, the TV's done. Um, that's not what really got me ticked off, though. It's, it's in the office right here. I have Xbox, and I have a, an older LG, which is a nice big heavy TV and I had to rip it out and put it in the bedroom <laughs> this morning and recable everything um, and I haven't finished my coffee and I'm just I'm kind of ripping mad um, and to top it all and it's nobody's fault but uh, the wife's thrown her back out so I'm having to do a lot of other things around the house which is okay it just means you know more stuff you know so that's my morning so I'm here to have Sea of Thieves Rush and uh, hopefully pep up my morning a little bit and I hope you guys can uh, can give me a little bit of moral support as well because it's uh, it's been an interesting start to the Friday. Uh, I'll start my work and I'll stream BBC Radio 2 on something. Right now I don't have a speaker in the office like I used to. Um, so I'll probably on the PC and uh, and see if I can get into my my happy place <laughs> but uh, they've even changed the scheduling on BBC Radio 2 for a Friday and now it's it's not so much a happy place as it used to be so you know life's really going a little south today so I just need your support I need uh, I need some help to to pep things up anyway back to the rush Sithi's rush uh, if you've never seen it before and I can't believe you haven't but if you you've never seen it before all it is is um, you get to another island, you get boots in the sand, you have a time limit, and I haven't started the clock, which I really should have done, because now I need to clear it. I need to go back, I need to clear it, I need to set it at 27 minutes, because it's set. See, this is my morning so far. It's been a gong show. Okay, so I got a, a timer, I've got to get boots in the sand, and uh, once I've done that, I can find anything to hand in at any location that will take a hand in. So a sea post or um, an outpost, uh, whatever I could hand in. So hopefully I can get boots in the sand and find a few things on the island and uh, get them handed in and then do something fun at the end of the rush, which I like to do or maybe do a second rush if I get time. But we have 26 minutes on the clock. Plenty of time to get in tr trouble, for sure. Okay, so, Skelly Cloud's up. We're coming into... I've gone for the easiest island. So it's right in front of where I was. So, I'm just gonna... Oh, I see something on the... On the sand there. Looks like a crate. Could be a flappy chest, but it looks like a cannibal crate from here. Just because of the darkness of it. So I am going to head over there and see. No, actually it's not Cannibal Crate. It is a flappy chest. So it's no good to me right now. It might be later when I'm handing stuff in, but depends what I find. I see no shinies. I heard a skelly. So let's keep looking. Back up on the beach. Uh, oh, banana crate, but again. Ah! Oh, squirrel. I see something. Okay, he got me, but I'm okay. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Flappy Chest and right behind the ship we have Shipwreck. And what are the chances of me uh, getting a Reaper's Chest spawn in just as I head to the Shipwreck? Do you think it's going to happen? An empty Flappy Chest on the deck as well. It's a good, uh, a good decoy. You know, if, if you have somebody board you and they're doing like a sail-by crash in board and snatch kind of thing, which happened to me with uh, with someone trying to grab a reaper's chest, but it, I actually left the reaper's chest on the deck, so I deserved. And it was in a rush. It was one of the uh, look for the thumbnail with yoink and the picture of the reaper's chest on it, and you'll you'll see everything that happened. Um, it was uh, it was all my own fault. Not really paying attention to the where the Reaper's chest was on the deck because it's a new thing in the game. So I wasn't like paying full attention to where I'd put it, and they just they they just snatched it. Yeah. Hence the yoink. All right, so let's get a bucket of water. Wash my face. Oh, I'm not even paying attention. Where's the seagulls? Ah, there it is. I missed it. Handbrake turn. Alright, so where did the seagulls go? They're right there, aren't they? Straighten up. I don't like swimming a long way, so anchor down. Directly above me should be right there when I hit the water. Yeah, there it is. So a flappy chest will come in handy if I've got lots of little doohickeys to uh, to carry. But if I don't find anything to carry, then I could probably find um, hunter's stuff. So. Yeah, there we go. Oh, what's that fish? I don't think I've ever seen him before. Hey, an explodey barrel. What are you doing down here? Who's stowing their barrels and explodies down below? Okay, get rid of the coconut. Grab the fishy. Oh. Nothing in there. Not finding anything else. Time to clear out because I'm gonna die. Dang. I'll eat the burnt fish. Oh, that gave me a lot of health. Come on, eat this. Oh, oh man, I wasn't paying attention. That's my own dumb fault. Let's see if there's anyone on the ship. Yeah, have coffee. Cheers, everyone. Can you guess where this is? This is one of the Starbucks mugs. But from the profile here, can you guess? This is a famous mountain in the US, I believe. The profile on the cup. And uh, if you can guess where that is, I'm not going to show you the other side of the cup. Put it in the comments below. Bear in mind, I'm in BC in Canada. That might give you a hint, but other than that, that's all you're getting. Alright, so I got the hunter's stuff, so I could go hand that in. Oh, I'm all over the place. Sorry for the jerkiness. Um, I don't mean I'm a jerk, I mean the jerkiness. But maybe I am, who knows? Some people probably think I am. And, you know, that's, that's their opinion. Everybody has an opinion about everyone else. I don't take offense if people think I'm a jerk. Anything up here? No. Nope. So a couple of other places where stuff might be, and captain's quarters, and even the back deck. Occasionally, I found something. Uh, oh, look, two things, three things. Wow. Nothing in that barrel. There's always something about that barrel that uh, means you can't open it. All right, I'm going to take you. 
Well, if I can just drop things out. Ah, it's not worth it. 20 minutes on the clock. The ship's not turned in the right direction for harpooning, so if I float it up, I've still got to swim, but... Hmm. Now I should check my food. Whoa! Yeah, nice and brown. Alright, so they should stack. Yep, they stack. Ooh, look. We had a, a double one of those uh, last night. We were sailing around. We actually didn't hand it in, but on the map there was one location and you could see two swirls superimposed on each other. So there was a double. Zero? I'm taking the skull. In the rush, that is no good to me, a zero crate. I'm not going to fill it with 50 cannibals and waste time transferring things from one to the other. Oh, look, you see where my ship got scraped. I don't think I've ever seen damage on the bottom of the ship before like that. Not that I've any, ever noticed, anyway. Let's see where that thing is. Is it way out of reach? Yeah, it's way out of reach. I can't believe the, the distance is so messed up. Um, ancient Spire. What, we got plunder over there. So I could do Paradise Spring and go to plunder. So west-southwest, I've got to turn the boat around. I'm going to anchor up. Pretty much a 180. That rock, every time, and it seems to move. Do you think it moves? I think it moves. You think there's a ship in the water. Maybe there's a few of them in the ocean, but it's always got the same profile. And you're always like, there's a ship, and then, oh no, it's a freaking rock. I'm getting better at not pulling out the telescope to look at it, because I, <laughs> every time I do, I feel so stupid. Uh, okay, I think I'm going completely the wrong way, but... No, Paradise Spring is definitely there, and Plunder is beyond it. There it is, okay. So, complaining about the rock, and it's right over by the rock. Or is it? I'm, I'm confused. No, that's Cutlass Key, but it looks bigger than Paradise Spring. I guess it's a little closer as the crow flies. So. Yeah, okay, we'll do Cutlass Key, Paradise Spring, Plunder Outpost. That's uh, it's going to be a rush job. But that's what we're doing. We're rushing. Oh. But we're not rushing because someone, excuse me, didn't set the sails. So even though I'm having a bit of a bad start to the day, this is making it much better, I must say. Um, but I've also got <laughs> these <laughs> Kit Kat Chunkies. I stole them from the, um, the snack cupboard. So I've got two of those to enjoy today. So. As I've said before, look forward to something in your day, no matter how small it is. So, I've got those to look forward to. I'll probably have one right after the stream, and then maybe one at 11 o'clock. And it's our family game night tonight. Oh, here he comes. Oh, and I'm off the ship. That's not what I wanted. Dang, swim the other way. That's really going to make a... <laughs> make a, a mess of all of this. So hopefully it'll go away when I hit Paradise Spring, which I'm gonna actually literally do if I don't get back there and anchor down and fix the ship. Luckily my load times are quite good. There we go. I was just anchoring self-preservation. 
I think he hit me in the back, which is not so bad. Yeah, a couple of holes. Although the behavior of Megs now is is a little different. They've really tweaked it, and they disappear a lot more. They they don't just circle the ship. They they have a little bit more um, sneakiness. So makes them a little harder to kill. And we we actually had a fun night last night. Pirate Legends out in the ocean, and. Um, not us, this other crew, and they were stalking us. They were really trying to find us, and uh, um, we managed to avoid them. Hid behind a big giant rock because they were doing like a search pattern, trying to find us. And um, so we we anchored the ship and cannoned up on top of the rock. Uh, one person swam with a barrel, and they had the Meg come up. Um, so they were they were fighting the Meg, and somebody swam out with a barrel. And uh, we managed to keg them, and then the Meg, uh, in the end, bested them, and they sunk. And uh, I think they rage quit after that, because <laughs> we went and looked to see their recent players and seen what they were doing, and they were off playing Fortnite. <laughs> so they they bailed, they left us. Um, it was pretty funny. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. I didn't see any shinies, but I wasn't paying too much attention because of an old Meg coming. But I think Meg's gone now, although if I boot it to the next island, it may come back. I'm ignoring skellies, and I'm going to swim back to the ship. Yep, there's nothing at all here. I am just going to move on. So I've got two of these things, each at different ends of the map, I think. So we're all good. Paradise Spring is in front, and then Plunder is off to the left. I'll tell you when we're playing and we're in the heat of the game, my left and right get a little bit confused. It's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of frustrating to the other crew. I'm getting better. I just remember left mouse button, and uh, and because I never get those mixed up, you know that would be dumb. Um, so I just remember left mouse button, left to ship. And when I'm thinking about the ship on the map, and I'm trying to figure out, you know, which way they need to turn, but I'm not on the ship looking out. I'm looking at the map table. It's it's a little bit confusing in my head. It really shouldn't be, but you know, we all have our little quirks. Oh, sea post. I want to hand in sea post stuff. It all depends. It hinges on. What I find here, I might be leaving a skull at sea post at this rate, but we will find out. Right now, my sails are completely messed up. Oh, red mermaid can't destroy those with cannons, I don't think. Um. You need at least three people. I've done it with two, but it's better with at least three. Although I think I'm seeing a shiny over there. Or it could be a light. I'm not even sure I'm going to stay. There's nothing here that I want. Let's go to the sea post. Turn the sails. Oh, you can tell it's getting lighter outside because I'm getting more transparent. My green screen is so messed up. I think I got a cheaper one, I think, and the lighting and the way I have it suspended. I might have to remove it from the wall, which is quite a ways back from me, and it gets a bit of shadow. And I might have to just hang it right above me. Oh, what did I just see? Ah, oh, crud, it's not a brig. Oh. Dang! Stuck on the ladder. 
I hate sloops. Ah, oh, I hate them. <laughs> oh, but you gotta laugh. What's that over there? Is that a... A skelly ship? Maybe I'll hand in my hunter's stuff and go give the sh skelly ship a visit. Well, maybe they'll come give me a visit. Oops. You made a hole in my ship, you silly dock. It was me, it wasn't the dock, I know. I should be more careful. Oh, did I get the stuff out of the barrel? No, I didn't. See, this is why when you're angry and you've had an issue in the morning your brain is completely like swiss cheesed now I need to get all my I want to see what that fish goes for like I don't know what that is I don't think I've sold one of those let's give it a sell what do you give me for that Merrick? Oh, 525 got accommodation nice Come on, buy my fruit. No. Doesn't like fruit. Oh. Seriously failing at everything today. What is that? Do I see you? Is that the one I dove on or is that another one? I don't know. Maybe I'll go get the skelly ship a visit. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, of course I don't have a... Oh, I died from the jump. I didn't check my food. So my ship's gonna go down. I've got seven minutes left. Sorry, it's amateur. 30 minutes this morning. It's <laughs> it's really not been my best rush. <sighs> it's a rainy day too here in BC. White clouds and rain. Fall really feels like it's starting to push its way in already, which is early this year, but I'm okay with that. Is it early this year, I guess? I guess so, but it's kind of nice. Puts my wife in her happy place. She needs that right now because she's. Um, oh dear. Am I even going to save this thing? I I think I might just let it go down. I might just go say hi to the skelly ship. Let's go see what I can do on their ship to cause trouble. Sloop is gone. I left the skull at the, um, oh. will it even go down, it might just sink. You know how they dive sometimes, you don't see them do that so much anymore. You notice the change of music, the little a little violent um, violin sounds. Wow, they've actually got a lot of water on board. I saw a skull there. I died. I saw a villainous skull. So I'm going to spawn back at an outpost. Or maybe an island, maybe Black Sands Atoll or Snuggler's Bay. You know. Yeah, if you're not familiar with the whole Lantern and the Well of Fates, check it out. You can get all kinds of achievements. 
for um, taking part in different uh, different beacon lighting and lighting your ship colors. You don't see many people lighting the ship colors anymore. It's kind of sad. You know, I like to go and light my lanterns different colors. And Especially if you want to do PvP and you want to be um, seen on the horizon. Like, if, if you want to attract those people that want to fight you, it's just put ship colors on and f <laughs> white, like ship lanterns and white sails. And someone will think you're a newbie that's just goofing around and uh, come get you. So, here I am. Is there anything I can do in the next four minutes that will. Get me into some kind of trouble. I'd say no. But I'm gonna get my ship out of here. Send it off into the blue. Put it in a slight turn, maybe into the storm. And then I'm just gonna camp out here and see if anyone shows up. around at some of the stuff. So it's very easy just to take everything for granted, right? I like the window design they've got on some of these buildings. Like who comes up with this? Do they have an architect that designs this stuff? <laughs> Took him by surprise with the cool stuff he's got. Lots of hooks. A cage for a bird. A uniform. Which I think is actually the uniform for one of the tall tails. So for him to have it in the shop's kinda interesting. And then I like to get on roofs and look in windows that you you don't normally look in. Oh, missed. Let's see. Oh, it fell off again. Let's try that again. Do 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 do. Parkour. Parkour. See, the chain's broken. It's almost like they want you to look in at the NPC. Look at them down there. I remember when it was Wanda um, and her arm was getting taken over. It uh, it was kind of cool to look down and see what she was doing and see the mysterious stranger in the corner. Oh, whoa! Nearly dropped your gun. Some of the NPC stuff, the the motions are just hilarious. Okay, and this one is nothing's changed here. I don't think you can't really see in there, but you can see in this window there is a. A door at the back. A couple of interesting bottles there. I noticed a wind chime that I'd never seen before, which is over there. That wind chime? I've never seen that before. It's, it's bamboo. And you you don't see bamboo anywhere in the Sea of Thieves. Like it's not a plant that grows on any island. But they have a bamboo wind chime. So my question is, where did it come from? Oh, it looks like my sloop's coming back. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. And yeah, you can get on top. See, if you put flappy chests or empty chests in weird places, it could be really hilarious. You could just imagine people coming in and finding stuff just stuck on roofs on top of the on top of the tent and they're gonna be like, Oh I gotta get up there and figure out what's in it and, you know, if it's a flappy chest, might be something in it and it's like, yeah, it's just empty. Sometimes you can leave a little prize in there for someone. Just make their day. So it looks like the storm's coming in and not much else is going on. I'll uh, I'll have a look around the um parts of the island that I don't usually go. So there is a cave that way, but there's this 
Um, there's, a, there's a few barrels kind of hidden up here that people don't generally go and stock up from. There's a little hole that comes through here, so you can get a really nice vantage point. Oh! And that is the end of the rush. So I think that was a rush fail. That was really not... Uh, well, I, I handed stuff in at the sea post, so that was one rush success. But um, other than that, that's kind of it. I got... Uh, I didn't have the best rush. But other than that, well, yo, my day's going to be good. I've, I've got to crack on. I've got to say goodbye. So let me get out of here and... I've got my other pirate. Look at this. This is poor little pirate. You can find him online. He has a Twitter account. Poor little pirate. L I L. And uh, yeah. Tra la la boom zee. 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 I'm Ali. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. Oh, look. Blue screen.